This is the good one. Yeah. Alright, let's find the, the bad one. So what we wanted to show you guys uh, is a case with... Uh, so let me let me explain what happened. Yeah. Let me get some tools real quick to remove this. Okay. So what happened was we had a truck come in, one of our trucks with a bad... Uh, it was The steering was very hard and uh, we pulled it in for... Uh, it was in a, in a fender bender nothing crazy minor minor accident but uh, we uh, went over the truck checked a couple things and I've noticed the steering shaft is very hard so we uh, as we're doing other things we're uh, addressing that but uh, when Jose gets back I want to I want to tell you how I thought it was the uh, power steering gearbox but we actually found it pretty quickly. So you're explaining uh, what the issue was? Yeah, so I said, so we were talking that I, when we had it, it came back after the minor accident. What do you hit? You know, oh. Somebody backed up to him with a with a container. Oh, they, probably do uh, at a dock or something? He was at a, at a yard. No, he was at a, yard, at a rail yard. And oh, okay. He, somebody backed up to him. When I drove it, I thought it was uh, a steering gearbox. The gearbox, right? Uh, yeah, well, he told me he started up the truck and it was just like binding. Yeah. So I told him like, dude, and we're gonna be the U joint on the steering shaft. Yeah. And we've had those multiple times. I think we just we should just I just want to record it just because it's a either that simple. or sometimes we've had uh, bad kingpins. Mm -hmm. Obviously a bad gearbox. Yeah. Right? The, we have no oil in the the kingpin the no oil but the kingpin will s s feel similar to that. Yeah. We had one what in the summer? We like jacked yeah. it up and shit nothing. He's gonna he's gonna be confused why we're taking it apart. <laughs> yeah. All right, so we got the steering shaft right here. Steering shaft U-joint right here. See, the U-joint is free one way, but the other way, it's nothing. Nothing at all, so it's seized. Yeah. And that's 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 due to what? What What is that causing it? Well, What's causing it? We got grease fitting right there. Yeah. Obviously, it wasn't greased. That, it wasn't greased, it got seized up. Uh, Over time, they do seize up. They have with uh, time, yeah. Yeah, with time. This is one that has a grease fitting. Some of them are sealed, mm -hmm. same like the yeah. drive shafts. So not every mechanic is gonna check if they have the grease fitting there. Yeah. Right. So uh, it will Which get missed uh, yeah. through a, when you do a PM. So, but definitely this one. Can you yeah. uh, get some of that grease out, maybe from? Can you see the gr grease fitting? Uh, grease fittings on this. Side. Yeah, yeah. It just it's covered in grease, but it's on. The, it's yeah, yeah. I can see it. Oh, there you go, right there. Yeah. So. As you can see, it has movement to the sides. But yeah. nothing at all. Yeah. Well, well he already put it on. But Did he? No, I think it was. Uh, it? No, uh, I think. Can... Yeah, this one. The real one. Yeah. No problem. That's what, that's what you want to do. Yeah. Nothing. No pressure. So that's why it was locking up. It, it's common on the Volvos. Too, it's kind of common on the Volvos. Also, uh, one bolt and you can re you can check it. Yeah. Right. Also, one bolt and you don't tighten it up and you're gonna have a big yeah, and you have a big problem. Yeah. Uh, for sure. Check your uh, steering shaft U joint. It's gonna feel similar. Very hard steering. Um, there's also skipping when you yeah, when you jumps. yeah. It, it, or it, sometimes these themselves they get messed up on the splines inside and they skip yeah, yeah. we've seen that a yeah. couple times too and that, those were we've had those quite a while but that's also because of the age of the of the part yeah and of the of the truck but that's definitely a safety issue because yeah. I mean, so it's, that's part of the, of the DOT inspection, making yeah. it the whole steering pump. And, and it's not that expensive to swap. No. So if you want to... You on know. these, it isn't too bad. On some of the Freiliners, it's like 700 bucks, 800. Still? Still still cheap, but uh, what would what would you... What mileage would you swap it at? at? Uh, 750? 8? Yeah, around there. Around I would, that I would yeah. definitely look... Like, that's... That's... 
you know, an expense that obviously... They are serviceable. Some you can replace the U-joints on them. But if you do, I know Kenworth, they got some U-joints, they're like $70 a piece. Mm -hmm. And that's a buck 40 if you're buying both of them, obviously. Yeah. The, to remove it, the labor, you can probably get book two hours mm -hmm. on it. What are you looking at? And it, you can buy a whole steering shaft for like around 250 to 75. Yeah. Yeah. And it's, everything's brand new. Yeah. So. A few hundred bucks, but at the same time, um, worth looking at. And if you feel like your steering is hard, then yeah. uh, something to look at. All right, thank you guys for watching. Subscribe, share, and talk to you soon.